So do y'all feel like Ariana is on the level of a Mariah when it comes to the voice? Uh, wait, man, you yeah. said, wait. Is Hit Ariana me with the question again. <laughs> do you feel like Ariana Grande is on the same level as a Mariah Carey when it comes to the vocals? I mean, the range, oh. the range I feel like is there. I know Mariah, like her voice is like no one, it's untouchable, but Ariana, I mean, you have to give her her credit. Like, have you yeah, heard her, music? Sure. her range is incredible. Yeah, I agree with Jamie. I feel like that she definitely, she definitely is in that like Mariah Carey category for our generation. I feel like she doesn't put out a bad album. She has the range, a beautiful voice. And I was really just surprised to see these two on one song because, you know, people wanted to compare them so bad when Ariana Grande yeah. first came out. So I That's feel like it was a great time to put them both together. All right, y'all, listen, I would love to have this conversation, but as everyone can see, we don't have Romeo. So we're going to go, we're going to go get him. Really quick. Romeo. <laughs> um, we'll be back with oh, Romeo yeah, and we'll be back also with Miss Carla getting in the mix with us here. So you don't want to miss it, y'all. And that's on period. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get our men. Welcome back to The Mix, you guys. Our guest today is an entrepreneur, model, and recording artist who just dropped her new single, Jimmy Choo, featuring Young Thug and Gunna. Everyone give it up for Carly. Hello. Hey, Hi, y'all. Hey. What up, Miss Carly? How you feeling tonight? What's going on? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Uh, preparing. I got a host in later, so... I'm just getting in my vibe. Happy to be on here with you guys. Um, so thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for joining yes. us. Yeah, for real. Thank you so much. We gonna get you in your vibe, baby girl. Period. <laughs> okay. All right. Now listen, just on Jimmy Choo and his fire. I got. Thank you. Yes. Oh, he's frozen. Yeah. Well, I just well, want to definitely very fire. Absolutely, absolutely. No artist. Thank y'all. I appreciate yeah, that. Definitely on my playlist. We don't have to worry about that though. Me bumping in the car. We don't talk about it. It's fine. But I do want to talk about how it features Gunna and your boo young thug. So how was it working with your man? Did you guys like fight a lot? What happened with that? Um, I mean like when we're in the studio, it's good, but, like, when we're in the studio, we just kind of take, like, the personal side of things out. So, like, and then for me, I kind of want to be taken serious as an artist, being, like, you know, I, always in, like, the music scene, always like music, but um, I want to be taken seriously. So, mm -hmm. in that environment, we both, like, super work mode. Like, we don't even joke. We don't even act like, it's literally, like, okay, CEO, executive producer, and yeah. artist, you know? So um, good. it's good, but at the same time, it can get like a little heated because he'll be like, I don't like that. Or he'll be like, I don't think that's good. Like, he like, you can get it better. And I'm like, what you mean? I'm like, what? Like, and then I'm like, okay, I'm a artist. You can't take this stuff personal. Yeah, I've thug, to right. tell you, you know, you could do it better. That's kind of a compliment, huh? No, it is. You know, like, I appreciate it, though, because it's, it's shaping me into the artist that I want to be. For sure. Yeah. Girl, I understand. So, My mama do me the same way and I be feeling a little way like, girl. No, I look. <laughs> I mean, I Sometimes I didn't realize like being an artist, like even for, because I know, you know, Romeo, so I need y'all artists. It's kind of like, I didn't realize how it is. So me being in it for like, the, you know, these two years, year and a half, I've been like, damn, it's a journey. Like, hmm. well, yeah. I, can I ask, what do you want to accomplish with your music? Um, I would say, like, more than anything, I just want to be able to, like, uh, I would, like, motivate people in general, but just, like, for women, I just want to motivate them. I want, like, females to hear my music and to feel like, you know, it's like them saying it. That's, like, my main goal over saying, like, I want to be a megastar. I want this. Like, of course, I would like all of the recognition to come, but more than anything is, like, the supporters I have now, I would like for my fan base to grow mm -hmm. and just, like, to really touch people and, um, I think like make light of what I'm trying to do now. Yeah, that. that's Man. dope. So, so being that young thug is at the top of his game right now. Do you right. have to worry about you know what's happening on the road or any DMs? 
Um, no, because we've been together for like six and a half years. So like I'm past that phase. I used to be crazy. <laughs> so I used to like I went through that whole young thing and I think like um, you know, I matured a lot. So now and then too, when you doing your own thing and you walking in your own calling, like I don't have time to even think about it anymore. And I thank God for that because it's like before I had so much like I had idle time. I always was an entrepreneur. But even on the road, I'll be like, what's going on? Like now I'm in the studio so much. I'm always thinking about new sound, all of this. I don't even have time. I be missing stuff. Like for me to even pick up on something that's going on, it would have to like knock at my front door. Like, but I like it because it keeps me being positive. I like that. You you foundation, you know, uh, us just talking right here. And I think that's a big key to all types of success. Not even just relationships, but when you're chasing your dreams, like you said, it's a journey. Like being a superstar, right. going out there, being the next big rap artist, it's it's a lot harder than what it looks. You know, props off to you because you do have a strong foundation for real. And we can see Thank that. you. I appreciate that. I need to hear that. That's a boost. <laughs> uh, it's only the beginning. I know. Gosh, look. I'm like, but like I said, it's good to hear it because sometimes you wake up some like and you like, am I doing good enough? You like, mm-hmm. you know. Absolutely. Is there something that like gets you through those times where you're like doubting yourself? Because listen, I need some advice on that. Yeah, like I think it's growth. I think like I just look back like because before I would just kind of feel like a lot of people would expect from me. They like, oh, well, we expected for you to have a song that's charting or this because who you know. And I'm like, it ain't that easy. You can't make you can't buy people to like you. You can't make people like you. So I think I look at like where I started with music, like me, the first time I was in the studio, and then now like I listen to my old music and I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? And sometimes like that just that keeps me going because I'm like, bro, look at your growth. Like I dropped a collection with Ethica. I'm doing so like much more than I was, and I think that's what makes me be like, you further, like keep going. Like every day I grow. Well, you on the right track. I mean, the music is fire. You got great energy. So the world is like, you know, your oyster. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, Carla, so, being, that, being that the holidays are right around the corner and it's time for gift giving, what is the best gift that Young Thug has given to you? Or what's the most romantic thing that he's done for you? Um. Well, one time I was like, I had just released my swimsuit collection and I had like, I spend a lot on inventory, like saving my money. And he went on there and bought all my inventory. And in turn, I'm not gonna lie, like I was like, well, I wanted to sell my stuff for real. Like, and I just had to like restock, but that meant a lot because I just, it motivated me to really like want to get those sales, like for my stuff to sell out. Like I woke up and it was like, oh, all your stuff is sold out. And I made a good grip of money and I feel like some people was like, oh, you're enabling her. But he was like, no, that's gonna give her that drive. Like, it's only gonna happen one time now, but don't you like how it feels? <laughs> and I did. So it was like I kind of just wanted to go way harder with anything, you know, that I was working on. And if you could do it, why not? That's romantic right there. Yeah, yeah I was like, Yeah, it is. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Wait, that's okay, cool. listen. So I don't know if you know, but we know we always talk about Zoe's babies. So I wanna know, Carly, do you want kids in the future with Doug? Like what's going on? Yes, I do want children. Um like, my theory on it is, like, when God gives it to me, it'll happen. But it's not something I'm, like, actively just, like, oh, my God, kids. Because I have a Yorkie, and he's actually getting <laughs> packed up. He's getting packed up to go with his dog sitter as we speak. Um, and it's hard. So I was, like, imagine being in the studio every night, some nights to four in the morning, and I got a kid. I just can't be, like, I have to be attached to my child. So I feel like God is going to do it when he, like, okay. Her head on right, she in a good space, boom. Cause right now I'll be all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I got a question. So I know Young Thug has a crazy, crazy fashion game. Like he's always rocking the latest trends, the latest dope labels. Is it hard to shop for him? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a video. Um, I actually just for the Jimmy Choo video. Um. I was like picking him out something to wear because I don't know. I like to be real hands on with my creative control and everything. Cause I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, I'm perfectionist a little bit. So I was like, okay, I'm going to figure out what you're going to wear. Gonna make sure you come with that shit on. So I went to um, Saks and I was like looking for him a shirt 
And for one, I was looking at the price tags because I'm real conservative with my money. I really am. So I was like, oh, Same shit. Here. And then I was like, what can I get him that he don't have? But it's also like different because he don't like just regular stuff and he has everything. So I found this St. Laurent shirt with like sequins all over it. Uh, it had just dropped. And then I was like, dang, I hope he like it, which I kind of knew he would because he just liked that flashy, crazy shit. But uh, <laughs> I took it to him. He was like, this shit hard. But I was like, whew. It took me like I was in the store, y'all, for like three hours for one shirt. <laughs> yes. Love oh, that man. Well, That's my love right there. Period. Well, we've both been on the cover of Elements Magazine and People. And people also need to know that you're also a businesswoman out here. So what can we expect from you in the future? And you look beautiful, by the way. I feel like we can you. Melanie yeah, going. You look great, um, baby. It's the body for me. <laughs> um, I would say, um, like far as my business stuff, so I've actually um like working real close with this skincare brand that's about to emerge. And it's just like I know a lot of people are into like beauty products, all of that good stuff, but the difference is I got a chance to be like close hint like close in with you know, like the production process. And just like I'm a big skin freak too. So I'm working with them and we got like some big stuff coming, but they about to be crazy. I got to send all the ladies a cure package, but um, it's all natural. So um, that's like the new project I'm working on. Um, and then two, I'm revamping Carlay Swimwear because I had some trials yeah. last, my last drop, I was trying to balance my music and, um, you either. know, just kind of trying to find my way. So I'm like reinventing my whole swimwear line and I'm going to introduce resort wear. Because everybody like clothes. So I'm like, why not do, you know, uh, summer clothing? So I'm going to introduce that to Carly Swimwear. Hey, boy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we love to hear all of that. I want to ask this as well. Who are some of your favorite your favorite artists right now? Um, My favorite artists right now, I would say, y'all, it's so many names. But to begin with the ladies, I love Megan. Um. My mm. top favorite, I'm sorry, all hail to the queen. <laughs> Nicki Minaj is my, yeah. that's my everything. Um, mm, Megan, yeah. I like Cardi, what she doing. Um, Lil Baby is one of my top, like, that's like one of my, like, he motivate me because it just has come up and everything. Mm. Um, I would say the baby too, because we broke from the same place. Um, he's a real humble guy. Like, I love his process. Um, yeah, and yeah. who else? It's a lot of people, y'all. It's too many to name. <laughs> Of course, the, the whole YSL is my favorite. And it's genuine. Like, not even because I work with them. I just really see, like, the work they put in. Um, and, you know, how hard they go for real. And they always are evolving their sound. So, the whole YSL, to me, is, like, my favorite. Same, sis. Oh, no cap. I like that you pointed out the women, though. To see that from a female mm -hmm. artist. Yeah. yeah man we've been killing it like yeah yeah for real all right well as y'all know we can't have the beautiful carlay in the mix without getting into some topics so i'm gonna just hop right into it i like this so, uh. <laughs> so, i don't know if y'all know but sweetie took to social media to let us know that she has a problem with her label the weekend after they released her new single early without letting her know so, Carlay, do you think she's in the right to be mad? Like, how would you react? Because I'm not an artist, so um, I'm into y'all. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely think she has, a, like, a right to be mad. I know the feeling, like, I'm just starring, and they messed up my video, and I was like, what? I'm like, Beyonce, what are you doing? You know? But, um, <laughs> so I understand. I think, for me, I just would have, I'm more so of a, um, I like understanding, like, I'm not going to stop talking about something until I, you understand I'm pissed off and why. So I just feel like I would have went to my label and had a personal meeting first and talked to them before, you know, I went to social media. But then again, for her, it might have been, a uh, you know, a solution from her doing that. They might have been like, OK, she really pissed. Like mm -hmm. she went to social media. But for me, I just rather talk about it with my team first because you still got to like we all in bed together doing business. So we got to make it work, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask y'all the same thing because you know we are also artists. Have y'all ever had experiences like that? Yeah, I was gonna say that um, I was signed to a label when I was in um, G Girls, and it was definitely cool. I feel like labels are best for like you know making sure you have enough money to do 
all the great things that you want to do as an artist but they can sometimes just try to be too in control you know Mm -hmm. like I feel like that's what's best about being independent like I really enjoy being independent right now where I am in my career I would like to sign to a label again but I feel like it's just you know sometimes they just try to be too much in control do y'all think that somebody on her team is trying to sabotage her or somebody from the labels trying to sabotage her career I wouldn't say that. I, they probably just feel like they know what's best. Yeah. yeah. I think they're just probably trying to show her like, no matter how much you like, you always have to listen to somebody or what about our idea? What about we think it should drop now instead of mm. next year? You know? And it's yeah. like, okay, you get all this say so, but now we gone. You know, they probably had to show their muscle a little bit. He got mad. In businesses, they always want to show their muscle. You know, me coming yeah. from an independent uh, family who did it big in this industry, I always tell people, no matter how powerful, no matter how successful you get, if you sign to the wrong company with people who don't have your best intentions, it's kind of like being in a circus. Look at the lion, right? The lion brings all the attention. But guess what? They still got them in a cage. So uh, it's about us also. That's why I love the mix, because we're educating people at the same time and also entertaining them you know so uh like y'all said it's not easy like you said, it's a journey like you said it's not an easy uh business to be in and you got to have thick skin but with that being said yeah Car- uh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> I die every time it okay. never so we gotta get to a break, but keep it locked. We got Carlay here with us. You know what's going down on Fox Soul, baby. Okay. Come back. Okay.